What up, what up? Man, that felt great. Let me, let me ask you guys a question real quick. Does this look familiar? Hey, hey, hey. It, two it, guys, one one camera. Oh, two girls, one cup. <laughs> you remember that video? Yeah. It's two. <laughs> hey guys, listen. Welcome back, man. We're here for Selection Sunday uh, for the Carmel Tip Off, presented by Feet Not Hoop Report. Shout out to the good guys over there. So, got my guy, Webb Wellman, back in the mic. Yeah, back yeah. in the saddle. We back. We back. We back posting five days a week. Okay. 3 p.m. on the YouTube channel. We provide you with team features, player features, fun content with guys like us, and um. We're just gonna get the ball rolling. We got cool shirts too. It's, it's basketball season. It's basketball season, y'all. It's basketball season in the hoop state. Basketball. And November 8th mm -hmm. at Carmel Christian School, just outside of Charlotte in Matthews, North Carolina. The 704 pull up. We are in the building. We're if, starting the season off right. Big if you have a vehicle or you are within Ubering distance, mm -hmm. get in the whip and get to the gym because this is gonna be something you don't want to see on the internet and just talk about it with your friend. You want to be there, you want to feel it, you want to experience it, right. and the only way to do that is to show up. Now, for those people that are a little bit too far away to drive to Charlotte, or those that are on their grind and too busy with work or family or priorities to get to us, we completely understand. And that's why this year, the Hoop State Network is gonna be providing live streams of the best matchups all month long. So. At the Carmel Tip-Off, we'll be streaming three games, one on Friday, two on Saturday. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure you're wondering, what games? Miles, Jamie, tell us more about that. What's up, everybody? Miles Master Cole here with Phenom Group Report, here with Jamie Shaw. We have a lot of exciting games to get to. Game one, Friday night. This is a Friday, Saturday event. Obviously, last year, standing room only. A line of 200 people out the door. Hickory Grove Christian Christ School. Exciting matchup, Hickory Grove, the local team out of Charlotte. They got A.J. Smith, 6'4", 2021 prospect. Yeah. Uh, we got him as a top 10 guy in the state. Mm -hmm. He's got some high major stuff Texas coming. Texas A&M. Texas A&M's in there. Thing about him, he's tough. He's yeah. tough, he's athletic, he defends, he rebounds. Uh, he just plays a great brand of basketball. Pairing on the other side is Christ School, which has 2022 prospect Deontay Green, mm -hmm. as well as 6'10", 2020 Harvard commit Justice Adjibor. Mm -hmm. um, both of those are top 100 type of players. They're both bigs. Um, Christ School has some good guards there as well, but that's going to be the matchup that's going to be interesting to see as to who's able to dictate kind of the pace. It should be a great contest. That size of Christ School is overwhelming. It's going to be tough for a lot of teams to beat them inside. Then things start to get a little spicy. Ooh. You like how I did that, by the way? Spicy. You did a little production. Well, yeah, I, I, I saw ain't, that. You ain't even got to count me down. <laughs> we out here. <laughs> 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. <laughs> tip off. We get to see the highly anticipated, much talked about, I'd even say maybe underrated. Moravian Prep, led by five star, top 25 in the country, needs to get the blue blood love. I'm talking about 6'9, 6'10, 6'11, however tall the man is, yeah. Josh Hall. Big five. I Ugh. dubbed, we dubbed him Big Five. Super excited to see him. Silky smooth. Man, just elite, man. That's all I can say. The crazy thing about it is, he is not even close to the only guy on that team. Oh, no, absolutely. We've also got the first game with Shaquille Moore joining the squad. Mm -hmm. It'll be his first game of Moravian Prep transferring for Piedmont Classical. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, honestly, like, Jamari Harvey, the, I mean, they've got so many kids that are like, I've got to see this. we got to see this yeah. team. Concord First Assembly is one of the most slept on teams in the in the state. They have three guys who have committed Division One already with mm -hmm. Amaka LeGregum. You have uh, Sheck Traore who's going to Youngstown State. You have mm -hmm. Garrett Hine who's going to Furman. They're incredibly well coached. They're always in the hunt. This year they have a ton of talent. So they're going to be a whole lot better. Would than you say it's a break year, breakthrough year for this team? This could very well be uh, a breakthrough year. I mean, they've won state championships. They've had Division One players in the past. This team is, is just different. I think the, the big matchup for this game is the matchup between uh, Chuck Troyor and Javarzee Belton, two of the best rebounders in the state of North Carolina. You have uh, Belton with a host of Division One offers. Mm -hmm. Um, and then obviously Chuck Troyer, obviously committed to Youngstown State and is really an intimidating force down low. Yeah. That should be a really exciting well, game. Well, Moravian's deep, but Concord from Assembly is one of the guys who can match them man for man, position yeah. by position. Eight or nine deep with talent, guys. Yeah, with talent and size and shooting and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So 6 p.m., Moravian that. Prep versus Concord First Assembly. You have got to, if you care about basketball in the state and you have never seen Josh Hall play, you're crazy for not showing up. So I know, we know it. we're going to get a group that's going to play hard. They're not going to, some teams will play us and they'll, You'll be up 15 before you know it because the intimidation factor. They're playing old kill and they look at your chest, the name on your chest, and they're scared to death. His teams are not going to be like that. Uh, he's going to have them ready to play because if they're not, he'll just pull off the court and put somebody else in because it's how he is. I mean, they're going to play extremely hard, and plus he's got talent. So 
gonna be a real good game. It's gonna be a great opening yeah. game. Yeah. Let's talk about the first ever Hoop State Network live stream regular season game. Ooh. That's gonna be taking place on Friday at 7.30 mm -hmm. at Carmel Christian School in Matthews, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. We're bringing down the big dogs. Ooh. We're talking about Steve Smith's Ooh. Oak Hill Warriors. Mm -hmm. Powerhouse, you're in, you're out. Guarantee McDonald's All-American on the team at least one every single year. Mm -hmm. Again, like, when are you when are you gonna get you're not driving to the mouth of Wilson. Listen. You're not. Listen, I'm telling anybody in the Charlotte area, if you've never seen Cam Thomas play, holy crap. A bucket and a half. And he's been that way for a minute. Forever. And that's the player that Steve Smith told us is his likely McDonald's All-American this year. 100%. So who do you put a team like that up against at 7.30 p.m. on a Friday night, November 8th at Carmel Christian School? Mm. How about Jeff McGinnis' Combine Academy? Ooh. We're talking about Jeff McGinnis, who is from Charlotte, mm -hmm. West Charlotte's very own, mm -hmm. transferred to finish Oak at Oak Hill mm -hmm. with my guy, Jerry Stackhouse, that's right. Two five. He's on the wall. Two five. I was lost at the time when I met him. So to be able to coach against him like probably 20 years later, I don't know, man. It'll probably be emotional for me to just be going against him. I want to beat him. Um, <laughs> once I start competing, I'm out there. But Now, when you look at Combine Academy, mm -hmm. who's going to be facing Oak Hill, mm -hmm. the, the main dog is Jalen hood Right. Uh, a sophomore, super sophomore, top 25 in the country, tall, long, skilled. Mm -hmm. He's going to be ready to rock. Yes. I'll be honest with you, he might. I, and I know everyone loves Cam Thomas, don't get me wrong. It's going to be a competition for best player on the court that night. Absolutely. To end the day on Friday, <laughs> at 9 p.m., we're going to tip off with the host school. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Carmel Christian, who mm -hmm. Coach Badgett has been to the last nine state championships nine. for the NCISAA. That nine. is crazy. And to be fair, that's been stretched out across his time at Northside Christian, mm -hmm. as well as time as a head, a head coach over at Carmel Christian. Right. Um, they've always got a squad. They play a certain way, and they're going to be tough to end. It's going to be packed. Oh, yeah. Last year was packed. The year before that was packed. Their fans are going to be ready to rock. They will be facing a rematch from last year mm -hmm. in Northwood Temple. Oh, good game. Jamie, Miles, tell us about that. We saw these teams meet last year. Both rosters are very different. What are you expecting in that one? The matchup in this one is going to be Justin Taylor for Carmel versus Jaquanta Harris for Northwood. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a, a very underrated matchup within the 2021 class. They're going to be fighting for a lot of the same offers. Both these teams are going to be playing well above the rim. You're going to have Ben Burnham. You're going to have Kyle Bean. You're going to have Elijah Gray for Carmel. Mm -hmm. uh, for Northwood, you're going to have uh, Jay Hickman, who's one of the best shooters in the state. You're going to have Reggie Rayner. You're going to have Johan Axel. Top to bottom, uh, these are two teams that will be vying for state championships. These are two of the better teams in the state of North Carolina, and there's going to be a lot of prospects on the floor. Yeah, it should be an exciting game. That Carmel student section every year shows out. Saturday is where things really get kicked up a little bit. We're starting early too. Starting at 12 15 in the afternoon, uh, we're going to have Liberty Heights, which is one of the more undervalued teams in the state. They're super good, got a really good roster, do things the right way. A feature about Liberty Heights will be coming to the Hoop State Network soon enough. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And they'll be taking on Shaquille Moore's old school mm -hmm. in Piedmont Classical out of the 336. Mm -hmm. Can I say something about Liberty real uh -huh, quick? Please do. Shout out to my guy, Coach Mike Wright, man. I've known Mike for a while. Stand-up guy, man. One, he's one of the more underrated coaches in the Hoops State Light. We're going to find out. Yeah. Get we got Liberty school. Heights in a bunch of events besides this one, so yeah. that's awesome. I'm excited. There's a lot of discussion around that they might be slept on in the best team in the state discussion, and they'll have an opportunity to prove it right away against a, a talented Piedmont Classical team. Without question. And then you look at the Piedmont Classical team, you have Jamari Thomas. Uh, speaking of slept on players. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This will be a very this will be a very interesting game, a very good game. There'll probably be 12 full scholarship type players on the floor. Um, at 2 p.m., we're going to bring back two schools that played on Friday night. Mm -hmm. We're going to have another NCI SAA battle between Concord First Assembly and Northwood Temple. At 345, we bring back in one of the big dogs. One of the teams that's going to be in the running for the best team in the state. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Greensboro Day. Mm -hmm. um, they will be taking on Christ School uh, from the far west part of the state. Greensboro Day, ACC backcourt, Cam Hayes, Carson McCorkle. Uh, then you got Brock Williams, Jaden Young. Like they just got guards for. They kids. got this kid from New York. Yes, who's that? Bryce Harris. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I look. I don't want to be one of those guys that watches one video and I'm like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I watched one. I edited one video. Right. Against him playing against cop legit I saw, college yeah, dudes, yeah. and he's getting buckets. Yeah. Starting at 5:30 p.m., we bring back the heavy hitters from Arabian Prep, mm -hmm. and they will take on. Another school that is super undervalued, really good team. Another school will have a feature coming out of, and that's uh, Henderson Collegiate. Um, this one, they, they could have a battle on their hands. Yeah. 
Anderson Collegiate is a good team, man. Well coached. Very well coached. Shout out to Coach Marshall. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If Moravian Prep plays team basketball, no one is stopping them. Nope. No one in this state. Right. They got to play team ball and they got to do it right. the gotta, entire gotta, game. Got to buy in. Yeah. Right. 7.15 p.m. We're going to be live on the Hoop State Network. Yep. We're going to bring you Jeff McGinnis' Combine Academy again. Mm -hmm. And this time, they've got a much more interesting matchup. Going against 22-year-old high school coach, 22. Ryan Bernardi, and his brand new Burlington school out of Burlington, North Carolina. Our schedule's loaded. Uh, we start off this season with Combine at, at the Carmel Christian Tip-Off Classic. Ton of respect for Jeff McGinnis. Uh, he always is going to bring energy. His teams are always going to play hard. What a great test to start out the year. 22 years old, and you're going to be standing across from Jeff. Right, right, right. Jeff put up with no Jeff. Right. Have fun. <laughs> when Jeff McGinnis puts you in a blender, do you keep up with that? Right. Or do you lose your composure? Right. Because the team is going to look to him for how they act. Mm -hmm. And they've got a squad. Right. Jaden Michael just got offered by Louisville, mm -hmm. and that is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, they've got a rice commit as well, big man. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a fundamental soft touch big man. They've got Kuel Maybe. Which I've never seen this kid play in person, but I am extremely interested. Just got a Clemson offer. And I said it right, let me know. Because he, he, you know, he corrected me last time. Well, he's going to have, and, and I want him to. I did. He played really well today, too. Yeah. We're, we're, he's going to have to correct us because we got a broadcast team that's going to have to say, I imagine they're going to be saying his name a whole lot. A whole lot. At 9 p.m. on Saturday night, the host school, Carmel Christian, mm -hmm. another rematch from last year, will take on the best player in Charlotte. That is Jaden Bradley and the Cannon School. Silk, they call my man Silk. As Silk. they should. When they call you Silk, that means you got that ooh, ooh. You're probably, he's probably going to be a little bit more of a problem to deal with. Oh, yeah. He spent all summer getting his confidence up. He's going to play within the system, but at the same time, the system's going to put him in some one-on-ones and good luck. Talk about a blender. That's right. Ooh. That's right. Now, we will have, that'll be our first look at Cannon School. It'll be their first game of the year. Okay. We are going to see them two more times the following weekend at the National Showcase, which you guys will be able to find out more about on Thursday. On prelims, on prelims, on prelims, on prelims, on prelims, I saw, but my run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it, cause I got prelims, on prelims, on prelims, on prelims, on prelims, on prelims, I saw, but my run through the money, the press will be calling.